I've been developing rigging tools for a long time now, with my first being developed back in 2004, but these have mainly been created for clients. I'm now at a stage where I feel like I can take all that experience and knowledge and create a user-friendly rigging and animation toolkit just for you. So I've been working on an update to my biped rigging tool. The big difference being that I wanted to create a more modular rigging system, meaning you won't be restricted to just humanoid rigs. Also, because the tool is module based, there's always a risk of it becoming bloated and overly complicated. So I'm also working hard to make it as pain-free as possible. In this video, I wanted to introduce you to the tool and show you the stage I'm working on now, which is the first step where you define what I'm calling the rig blueprint. The idea is that the blueprint holds all the information needed to generate the rig, and you can quickly go back, update the blueprint, and then regenerate the rig if needed. Incidentally, if you're looking for a custom-made rigging and animation toolkit to fit perfectly with your animation style and projects, please get in touch. Okay, let's have a look at the tool. So here is the current UI, and it's important to state that this is in very early development, so things will probably change slightly over time. As you can see, I'm trying to keep it very minimalistic, so there's only the options that are really needed here. So what you do is you begin with a root node or a spine module. Let's use a vertical spine. If we add that module, we are given the main locators for the spine. These dictate the joint positions and orientations. What we can do now is select a locator and then add another module to it. You need to select a locator so the tool knows what to connect the new module to and where to place it. As you can see, a lot more options have opened up now and I will be adding more base modules to this list as I work on it. If there are any in particular that you would like adding, please let me know. For now, let's just add a biped arm. The offset section here lets you dictate how far away the module is created from the selected locator. And these are positions X, Y and Z. So here we are simply positioning it 10 units along the X axis. And there we have a basic arm module and the green circle behind it dictates where the pull vector control will be. So you have control over the position of that too. Actually, we need a hand on this rig. So what we can do is simply select a locator on the arm module and then remove it. This time we will check the add hand checkbox. And we can use the spin box here to dictate how many fingers we want to add. Let's add two. And this spin box can be used for other elements like adding toes to the feet or toes to the paws. Okay, there we have two fingers and by default, the thumb is always added alongside the fingers. Blueprints support multiple modules of the same type. So why don't we add another arm? As you can see, each module has a master control shaped like a cog. And this is because each module is essentially their own contained unit. So what we can do is we can quickly move the module around the scene. This time, let's have all four fingers and add that. We can also scale and rotate the modules too, so you have full control over them. Okay, let's give this creature a leg. How about an arachnid leg? Why not? Let's scale this up and move it so it's roughly on the ground plane. Now it needs a head. Ooh, a bird head I think. This will give you a beak-like jaw. And we can see the tool has updated the offsets. Because this is a head, the tool has already updated the offsets for us. So it will move it above the selected locator, rather than to the side. Okay, there we go. Now we can at this stage generate a skeleton from this blueprint. 
but this is still in early development. Remember, you can't generate a rig just yet. That is going to come in a future update. So there we go, we have a skeleton, and it's colour coded too. What you can do is go back and edit the blueprint. So let's say for example we wanted to change the leg. Now generate the skeleton again, and it's updated. So hopefully you can see how quickly and easy it is to generate a blueprint to fit your model. And then from that will be generated the skeleton, and then eventually the rig. Now to help you get started, I'm including a library of pre-made blueprints. And if you have anything you think I should add, please let me know. So we have a basic biped. This doesn't have fingers, toes or facial controls. The biped face and hands option will give you these. Next we have a basic quadruped blueprint. and an option, like the biped, which gives you a more detailed skeleton. I also added some more fun blueprints too. So we have a spider. I'll just generate the skeleton so you can see how this looks. I added a bird too. there's its skeleton and finally a T-Rex although I think the arms need to be moved forwards that's better As well as the joints being colour coded in the viewport, they're also colour coded in the outliner too. Now one option I would love to add in the future is the ability to create and save your own modules and blueprints. Ok let's have a closer look at the modules now. Each locator has its axis visible, so here we can see that the X axis is pointing towards the next locator, Y is pointing up and Z is aiming forwards. This is exactly how the orientations of the joints will be, but you do have full control over them. If you need to swap the orientation so Y is a primary axis, like in a Unity skeleton for example, you can do so here and the locators will automatically update. The orient control here is used to globally adjust the orientations, you also have control over each individual locator too, so you can get the perfect orientation. Each module has its own set of controls and attributes. We can disable mirror joints to stop the rig mirroring this arm over to the opposite side. If I generate the skeleton now, we only have the left arm. Between joints lets you add more joints between the main locators. If I add two, you see now we have green locators between the main locators. These are static, so you can't edit them directly, but they stay perfectly aligned between the locators, even if you reposition them. If I generate the skeleton now, the tween joints have been added. You do have more control over the tween joints, so with this option we can tell the tool not to add them after this particular locator. If we now update the attribute, it updates the module. And those tween locators have gone now. Twist joints isn't implemented just yet, but this will add the twist and roll joints. Next we have more rig specific options. Rig type dictates the sort of rig you want for this module. So you could just set it up with basic FK. You could use an IK and FK solution, spline IK, and there's also going to be an option to make that particular module dynamic. Although this may be more specific to the joint chain module. So as you can see, each module can be unique. 
you can choose to make the module ribbon based, which is used on more high end rigs, and decide if the module should have squash and stretch. So you see, the idea is that everything is decided on the blueprint itself, rather than in the UI. Finally, we can also choose and edit the main controls which will eventually be used in the rig. There are quite a few to choose from here, and I'm happy to add more if needed. Let's choose a basic circle for now. You can also choose the control on a per locator basis, so let's make this a cube instead. The idea is that you will be able to adjust the control to fit your model and then it will be used directly in the rig. So this will eliminate any need for adjusting or tweaking controls after the rig has been built. Like I say, I want everything to be done and decided on the blueprint. Oh, I forgot to mention, you can also hide the main orientation control here too, if you like. If the scale of the rig isn't right, you can use the main control to change it. Although currently, mirroring the joints doesn't work if the rig is orientated incorrectly. Although I'm not sure why you would orient your rig like this anyway. You also have more control over the scale with the global scale value here. Here we have the biped with the value set to 1. We can set this option to 5 now and regenerate that biped and the scale is updated so as you can see it's much bigger now. And this works because the blueprints I've added are all generated through code not saved as a file. I decided to do it this way because the tool is constantly evolving, so I wanted the blueprints to be automatically updated with the latest code when generated. We can change the scale on a per module basis too. So if we create a root node with a scale of 5, and then let's give this rig a smaller arm, so maybe drop down to 1 and add that. Obviously, you can go back in and scale the modules too, so there's much more flexibility. Let's add a head now and make that a scale of 2. OK. And now generate the skeleton. One final thing I wanted to mention are the rig colour swatches. You can change these and, for now, they update the skeleton colours. But eventually they will also dictate the control colours on your rig too. So that's been a very quick introduction to this new rigging tool and the progress so far. This will be available to download and try for yourself soon but will be exclusively shared with YouTube members, aka and CGI Club members, because it's their support which is helping to fund its development. This video will also serve as a mini guide for them too. As with anything like this, the more funding I get, the more time I can dedicate to working on it. So please join the club and get involved. What I am looking for now is some general feedback on what it's like to use and any bugs or issues you might find. Also, any features you might need too, to make your lives easier. Keep an eye on the Discord server and the community posts, and I will share a link when it's ready to go. Just remember that it's in very early development, so there is no rig just yet. But for now, you can happily play around with the modules, and generate lots of unique and fun blueprints. For now, you can then quickly generate a skeleton from those too. And feel free to use that skeleton on any projects that you're working on. Well, thanks for taking the time to watch this video and stay right to the end. It helps with the YouTube algorithms. While you're here, why not check out some of the other videos and courses I have too. If you have any questions, please post them in the AntCGI Community Discord server. That's the best place to reach me, and if I'm not around, there are plenty of other talented people available to help. Remember to help support future content and keep these videos and tools free. Hit the thanks button below 
visit the Ant CGI store or join the Ant CGI club. If you just want to say thanks, you can also treat me to a coffee at my coffee page. The link is on the screen now and in the description below. Thanks again for watching, this is Ant CGI signing off and I will see you on the next one.